I look like a teacher that's trying too hard to be cool. <laughs> oh, hey! So, I've tried to film this video twice now, but the lag was so off my laptop, so I'm just gonna film on my phone because, you know, it's better quality anyway. So, I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got my iPhone 6. So my friend Emily and I left our apartment at 11.45 at night, Thursday night, to go to the mall parking lot and um, sleep in the car to go wait for the iPhone. We are still in the parking lot, got our blankets and like our pillows, and we're just watching a movie. Around two o'clock, we went to go to sleep. And as soon as we go to sleep, the um, security guard at the mall pulls up to our car and like I didn't have the keys in the ignition because like I'm going to sleep I'm not gonna keep the keys in the ignition and I want to keep them in there anyway so as soon as we're about to go to sleep he pulls up so I have to open the door like I'm like hi like I'm like hi can I help you he's like you need to leave the process right now oh we're just waiting for the new iPhone like a Verizon like you know the new one's coming out today you need to leave this is like, but we want to be like the first one in line. Okay, sir. So we went over to the Walmart parking lot because Walmart's always open and we slept over there. Well, Emily slept. I was too paranoid to sleep. I'm like, someone's gonna kill me. So around 5.30, we went back to the mall. We weren't supposed to go back till 6, but we oh, rebels. And around 6, we see people like sitting in front of the door. So we're like, ooh, we gotta get over there. So we go over in front of the doors and like wait and the other people in line were there for AT&T and we were there for Verizon so we were number one and two in line. Yeah, slay the scene. We were talking to people in line and they're like, yeah, the security came and talked to us too but they just told us to drive over to the Target parking lot which is right next door. Are you kidding me? You made us leave at 2 o'clock in the morning, like barely coherent, and you let other people just drive over to the other parking lot? So yeah, that was really irritating. At 6.30, the same security guard had to open the doors for us, so I had to say thank you because my parents raised me right. And after that, we went and like sat in front of the Verizon store to like wait for the like, doors to open. And then around 7, the Verizon people came. And they were so nice. Like, they gave us little brochures to, like, show us what cases were available. They gave us water. Like, they were such nice people. Um, <laughs> it was crazy. Another crazy thing is that there was, like, nobody in line. Well, there was, like, maybe 20 people max. 20, 30 people. Which is insane, because I saw lines from New York, and, like, lines were, like, going around city blocks. Uh, it was insane. For them but it was it was fine for me <laughs> I can't really show you my phone right now because I'm filming on it so I'll insert the footage that was really laggy so I'm sorry but here it is now yeah without further ado this is my new phone <laughs> da -da -da -da. this is the case this isn't the case that I bought with the phone the case that I bought with the phone I didn't like but I think this is really pretty and here it is without the case in it please don't break please don't break please don't break <laughs> and it's cool. I like it. The like power buttons on the side now. I don't actually play the piano, but this is a really pretty background, isn't it? I, it's cool. I like it a lot. I think it was worth it. All eight hours of waiting in my vehicle. See, I have a cold now because of it, but. Look how pretty it is! So yeah, that was my iPhone getting experience. I really like it. Like, I had the 4S before this, and this is just like, beautiful. This is a machine. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time. Reach out and touch. Oh, yeah, that's really...